Hey everybody, I'm John Sabino here with the Lafayette Sports Network. I am not in the Kirby Sports Center, I'm actually at my house, but it is still signing day as we have head coach Ryan Adams of the Lafayette volleyball team. Ryan, how are you doing today? Can't complain, how are you? Oh, you know, I'm just chilling, living at home <laughs> like everybody else. And uh, that kind of leads me into my first question. Before we talk about the class specifically, how's everything been going so far in this just crazy year? It's actually been going really well. We are, since we're remote this, this semester, we, we have about five women on the team that are currently here. So we're doing small group practices a couple days a week and meeting with the entire group virtually a couple times every other week. And that's kind of all we're doing right now. Well, that's awesome. That's great that you guys are staying engaged. And uh, let's get into the class. That's why everybody's here and watching. Uh, so first up, we have Elizabeth Flynn, a defensive specialist from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. What can you tell us about Elizabeth? Um, Elizabeth is kind of our jack of all trades, good all around player, um, local. We're, we're super excited about her to see how she's going to develop here at Lafayette. Awesome. That's great. Always good to have somebody from the Valley on the team. Uh, next on our list, though, is someone who's a little bit farther from Bethlehem, and her name is Phoebe Glass. She's an outside hitter from Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, what does Phoebe bring to the table? Phoebe is an excellent player. Um, she is a good six rotation pin player that, that we're, we're looking to provide a little bit of depth. Um, but she comes from a great culture from club and high school, and um, we're excited for her future here. Awesome. Well, we're excited to cover her future here. Uh, following Phoebe is someone who's a little bit closer to Easton, still not as you know, close as we call it a hometown, you know, but it's Nina Kernan, a right side hitter, right side or outside hitter, sorry, excuse me, from McLean, Virginia. Uh, what excites you the most about Nina? Um, Nina's actually a fantastic athlete, um, very, very versatile. Um, we'll probably see her more on the right than the left, but she can do it all and I mean, she's a, a great all-around player. Excellent. Well, I'm excited to see her in Kirby. Uh, now we're actually going back down to Boca Raton, Florida with Abby Naporti, and she's an outside incoming recruit, outside hitter. Uh, what can you tell us about Abby? And I was just curious, does she have any playing experience against Phoebe Glass since they're from the same uh, hometown? Yeah, no, Abby brings a huge arm to the table. And it's funny, Phoebe and Abby were actually club teammates at once upon a time, but they actually came on their recruiting trip together. So we're excited for both of them. Um, they have a huge, huge ceiling and we're, we're super excited about their future. So they're kind of like a two for one deal. I'm not really a coach. I don't know how that works. Uh, <laughs> they are, they're, friends outside of just volleyball. So good. they're they're a good dynamic duo, if you will. Good. That's what we like to hear. All right. Now, following Abby, we head out to the West Coast for Anna Penman, a setter from Carlsbad, California. And what does Anna bring to the table? Um, she is a great setter, great hands, great location, um, and pretty physical. So we could see her playing either three rotations or six rotations. And it's always great to have a little bit of California blood in our gym, and she's actually from right next to where my hometown is, so it's kind of convenient, I guess. Uh, heading back to the East Coast for our next recruit, her name is Carson Grace Toomer, and she's a libero from Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, what can you tell us about Carson Grace? Um, she is a stud all-around defensive player, great ball control. Um, we'll call her CG when she's in our gym, but She's a super exciting, fun, vocal leader, so it, it'll be great to watch her development. Well, I'll learn to start calling her CG, too. And last but certainly not least, we have Natasha Zorbas, a middle blocker from Woodlands, Texas. What does Natasha bring to the table, and what attracted her to Lafayette, someone from uh, Texas? Um, you know, we have some decent ties within Texas just through both mine and Colton, assistant coach Colton Reinholtz recruiting connections. Um, she's a, a stellar athlete, um, a little bit newer to volleyball given that she's from Australia, but she, she plays for a great club and a great high school program and, and she's just an excellent athlete. So we're excited. Wow, that's very incredible having uh, someone from Australia on our team. And then just one final question. We've gone through the recruits 
Uh, what excites you the most about this class in particular? Do you see them coming in and playing immediately or do you see them kind of filling in roles where they need to be? Um, I think just the, the size of bringing in seven in one class, I think that has a lot of excitement associated with it. Um, they all have the opportunity to compete for a spot. Um, and I think, I think we're, we're bringing in some weapons where we could really see some, some good jumps in our progress moving forward. Awesome. Well, Ryan, thank you for taking the time to do this. Really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you back in Kirby pretty soon. Awesome. Thanks for having me. And that's it for me. I'm John Sabino reporting for the Lafayette Sports Network.